Hello everyone, Elena Mazana here, and this is our session three of the Empowered Feminine Workshop. And today I'm gonna to talk about a really powerful um, philosophy and technique called self-inquiry. Self-inquiry is really incredible in the sense that allows you to find certain inner insight and wisdom within yourself. There's a belief among therapists and coaches that every person is an expert in their life, that you have all the necessary insight and wisdom and answers to your own questions. And our job as coaches, uh, professional experienced coaches, um, <clears throat> is to ask certain kind of questions to draw that kind of uh, insight and solution. So self-inquiry is based on that method, just like self-hypnosis that we're going to be talking about in the uh, next uh, sessions next week. Um, Self-inquiry is about asking those open-ended questions that can give you the powerful insight. And I'll give you an example. There is a simple uh, three-step um, process to get you there to ask that question. First, you want to ask yourself, what is my current problem? If there's an issue, a dilemma, or problem you're dealing with, you want to be able to describe it to yourself. What is what is the current situation? What is the problem? So you quickly describe it in two, three sentences. Um, step number two, you ask yourself, what do I want? Right? So you understand, you, you clarify the outcome. What do I want? So you write that down as well. And then in, once you've done that, you want to ask a third uh, thing, which is the question. That's your third step, a question. And the question should be tied into the solution, the outcome. For example, I'm constantly working on myself. And one of the things that I've been encountering is that I am involved in a few different projects. Um, I have a company that I've been building for the last three years. And um, I was, you know, it's kind of taking a lot of my time and energy, especially being a mom, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. So in the, the organization this piece is very, very important. Organization of time, resources, um, projects. I've been working on the company. I'm also working with clients and um, and other things like the website, you know, you know, search engine optimization, you know, a little, little bit of promotion, although things have already been set up. They have a system that is set up for <clears throat> generating uh, leads and clients. But I am working quite a bit. Building a company does require a lot of energy and time, promotion, strategi strategizing, and um, raising funds, which can be uh, quite challenging, especially when you get a lot of uh, rejection. <clears throat> so there was a point where I felt like I am a little stuck and I wanted to figure out, figure out a way to move forward and find some sort of ease and uh, flow, in, uh, you might say. And so I asked myself when things started just really coming together in a sense that created this sense of hardness. I, I said, this is what, what's happening. It's, 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 it's hard to feel a little bit frustrated, almost a little bit burnt out after three years building a company. I'm, I'm moving in different directions and I'm raising funds. I've completed the project. That The project is out there. The app is out there. It's in stores. We have users. Um, it's sort of growing, but not really growing, and and too many obstacles that I'm encountering. So I was thinking of hiring another developer and redoing the app, making it a better user experience, and maybe raising funds that way. And then things started feeling as if I'm pushing too hard, I'm chasing too much, and I was beginning to feel discomfort in my body. So I described it to myself. I'm feeling frustrated. I'm feeling stuck with my project and uh, other things that I need to accomplish. And I feel like I'm depleting my energy. And then I ask myself, what do I want? I want a, a flow. I want a new chapter in my life. I want a flow, a more of a professional flow. Professional meaning creatively professional because I, I love building bigger things, bigger projects. So I wanted that creative professional 
flow with bigger systems and structures. So that's what I said. I want to flow and I want things to be more aligned. But the things are just clicking and I wasn't experiencing, experiencing it. And so I asked myself a question. How do I get to the point where things are more aligned and I am in the flow, right? How do I get to the point when things are more aligned and I am in the creative and professional flow? And then the answer came really simple. You need to write a book. So I've, I stopped building a company and I am focusing on writing a book. And it feels easier. It feels more like a relief even. And then I feel creative and it feels like the right thing. So this is where I am right now. I don't know what will happen with the uh, company. It, it will see, time will show. And in fact, I don't even, almost it's like I don't even care. It's a sense of surrender. And that's, as we call it, the feminine power, the, the power of surrender. So I've surrendered the chase. I've surrendered wanting to build a company. I've surrendered my drive, even my passion for building a company. I've surrendered everything that I have done thus far. I've surrendered and I have let go of it. And I'm not taking a break. I'm not pausing. If it's meant to be, it will be. If it's meant to be, it will happen. If it's meant to be, things will align themselves in the near or, or far future. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. But as I have surrendered my drive and my want to continue building the company, I felt relief. And immediately the idea of writing a book uh, became quite natural. So, and that feels creative and it already feels like I'm in the flow and things are aligned for me. So it happened right now, magically, in fact. So that's, that's really the, the idea of asking yourself a question. So first thing you do is you identify the problem, whatever's happening, and then you figure out the outcome, right? And then you ask yourself a question. Asking a question means asking an open-ended question. So you never want to ask a question with the word why. Why, um, why is it not working, right? It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an okay question. You, you can ask that if, 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 you're, if you're curious to figure out what the root cause of the problem is. But what we're looking here is more of an insight, powerful insight that moves you forward. Uh, why is generally like if a coach is asking a question with a why, why do you think you're experiencing this difficulty? That, that can get a client into the state of a problem stuck state. And um, even generally in that state of, almost like a blame, right? You know, blame, why am I this way? Or why, what happened? What is wrong with me, right? So we don't want to get into that state. What is wrong with me? Uh, why am I here to blame to blame myself for, for all of this, right? We don't want that. We want how, when, uh, with what, what type, right? The kind of questions that take you into the solution, into the outcome. So, what type of skills do I need in order to attract a new job? What type of skills? It starts with the what. And it's a tied to a question, a new job, something that you want. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do to get into the state of alignment and professional flow? Something that I asked, right? What do I need to do to get into the state of alignment and professional flow? Something that was in the outcomes, right? You have to tie that out, to tie that outcome to your question. Um, or where do I need to be to experience a happy, uh, healthy relationship with myself, right? or with someone else, if you, for example, if you're single, right, where do I need to be? And what do I need to be doing? Or what type of mind mindset, what type of mindset do I need to build in order to attract my 
soulmate, or you can say my um, lifetime partner, right? What type of mindset do I need to have in order to attract my lifetime partner? Or how do I learn to manage my emotions in a way that is healthy and yet allow me to release what needs to be released, right? So you can think about that. And, and I wonder, Lauren, if you'd like, if you have any ideas, we can actually work through something. If there's something that you want to do a little bit of work, we're going to 10 minute of presentation here. Would you like to do that? If so, you can type in yes or just come on. Uh, sure, that's fine. Yeah. So Lauren, is there anything that's that you'd like to work on? Yeah. Um, actually, I found a lot of similarities to what you were just talking about with your dilemma. Uh, my current problem is I'm not quite sure if I want to stay in the professional field that I'm in. Um, I'm going to be going on 12 years and I'm just really burnt out right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been significantly struggling recently with that professional personal life balance. Uh, so that's definitely my current problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So how do we how do we state that current problem in two three sentences? I feel burnt out with my current job. How do you how would you state that? Yeah, I would say I feel burnt out with my current profession. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I want to learn how to. Um, I guess just figure out that I, I guess I'm struggling between, I don't know if I want to figure out that work-life balance or if I need a new job. <laughs> so I kind of really don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. So let's see, um, the, the, the outcome, what, what you're looking for is some sort of, um, clarity here, right? Clarity whether it's work-life balance, meaning you would stay at the same profession, but have a work-life balance, right? Yeah, learning to compartmentalize that professional life of mine um, because it's kind of over-empowered my personal life. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just finding that I'm not present at all in anything anymore. Uh -huh. So what, you, what you're talking about here is, is a strategy really. The strategy meaning it's either I find a new job or I create a, or I figure out a work-life balance that is that means staying at the same job, right? So that's exactly. that, mm -hmm, that is the tactic. Let's let's see if we can go into the outcome because the outcome here, because the tactic will be part of your insight. Right. Um, but we need to understand the outcome here. And the outcome here is some sort of professional um again it's either it's a flow professional freedom right some sort of yeah some sort of freedom profession or a type of profession where you feel more what just more free um more present mm -hmm. i really liked the the question that you asked about what do i need to do to get into a state of alignment and professional flow. I think for me, I would also just add personal and professional flow to that. Okay. And what is personal? What is, what is, do you, are you in a relationship? Uh, yes. I'm about to get married. Ooh, congratulations. Um, thank you. Yeah. We just, I think that's what has really brought all of this into light because over the last six months, we, got engaged we're planning the wedding we bought a new house we got a puppy so I have all these wonderful personal things going on mm -hmm. and I'm not able to enjoy any of it because of my job so it, it's just really bought, brought into light how um, you know how much I've I've given to this job and um, I deal with anxiety and depression as it is and mm -hmm. it's just been really exacerbated over the last few months um, because all of these great personal things are going on and I just can't enjoy it because of my professional life. So what you're looking for here is how do I align my professional and personal life in a way that is satisfying? Exactly. 
that's the question by the way how do i yes <laughs> align my professional and personal life in a way that is satisfying and also well satisfying is a word as a word it, it, it means what satisfying means that you are in a state of peace right comfort there's like a balance that you feel balanced. yes mm -hmm. yeah but balanced is a very good word present mm -hmm. and balanced so the outcome here is um professional and personal alignment mm -hmm. professional and personal alignment something else is here um the balance between my personal and professional life mm -hmm. you know what it is right no <laughs> no no you know you know what it is that you want you want um they if we were to name that so what you're looking for is some sort of balance so you can still be emotional you can be a woman uh, you have your feminine qualities and your your, your masculine qualities but it's all more much more intact and balanced yeah, I think that uh, we we were talking earlier, and we talked about this in the first session with that the masculinity femininity thing, and I think that's coming into play a lot here because, as I mentioned, I'm in law enforcement, and so I think mm -hmm. for the last twelve years of my job, I've had to really focus more on the masculine qualities that I have, and now I'm just experiencing this big shift into you know, marriage, house, puppy, hopefully starting a family. So I feel like now I'm shifting into the, the more feminine qualities mm -hmm. and it's exciting, but it's scary. And I think that it's, it's a hard shift because I have this very demanding job, but now I also have a, a very demanding personal life and I'm just finding it hard to balance all of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. balance is the does that word. make sense yeah yes yes balance is the word i'm just trying to look for one sentence for the outcome balance between personal and professional life right yeah whatever is balance between personal and professional life that feels what feels like you're aligned feels like you are yeah, I think I would just say that feels in alignment. That feels in alignment. Mm -hmm. So it's not With too much of this, not too much of that. It's 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 just balanced. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how do I get to that uh, state where my personal and professional life? How do I align my personal and professional life in a way that is satisfying? Did you write that down? Yes. How do, I, how do I align my personal and professional life in the way that is satisfying to me? Right? Yes. And making me happy. You can add yeah, that word because satisfying is, is good. You feel satisfied, but you also want to be happy, right? Right. Happy. Satisfying to me and makes me happy. Makes me happy. As a woman, you can even that as a woman. Because you're a woman in this lifetime. So whatever yes. it may mean, whatever it may mean to you. So as a woman, you know, that woman that the in Russia there's a saying, the happiness of a woman, there's a certain kind of happiness of a woman that is in having a family or having kids or being a caretaker, you know, there's that amazing happiness in it. So, okay, so this is your question. And uh, what we'll do is we are going into, we're going to do our meditation. And through that meditation, you'll be asking yourself that question. And in deep relaxation, it's a lot easier to ask yourself uh, that question because there's not, there's not a whole lot of noise or criticism or judgment in your, in your conscious uh, awareness. And um and the insight may arrive at that very moment during meditation or later on as you move 
through through your life in the coming uh, days and weeks. So just be attuned and um, listen to yourself. Listen, watch for signs and see what type of insight you, insight you get from yourself. Maybe you'll you'll have that really bold understanding that you know we we can actually start working part time or it's actually a good idea to to look for a new new job or maybe just take 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 a break a longer break to figure things out or maybe just travel somewhere for a month so whatever it is that that's that may come up and feel really really right to you right that's that does it make sense yes, yes you can. perfect so let's let's begin then. do you have any more questions lauren if you want to ask anything before we start our meditation you okay no i'm okay thank you perfect all right so let's begin then so go ahead and find yourself um, in a comfortable position and if you guys are listening to this session right now wherever you are get yourself comfortable you may be sitting down you may be laying down if you still have not figured out your question take a moment you can pause this video um, write down your question remember to focus on the problem and solution don't focus on the strategy just yet so don't don't focus on the how do i solve this so what i need to think about it the 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 insight will arrive when you ask a question and remember to ask your questions with words that start with what where how with whom and things like that mm -hmm. open-ended questions okay so close your eyes and take a nice and deep breath in in and out Gently moving your attention into your body. And focusing on your breath. Inhaling deeply and exhaling. And imagine this unique idea as if your body is quite wise. Just allow yourself to Invite that thought that my body is wise. It's alive, it's doing what it needs to do. It's breathing. Its systems are working as they should. There's this incredible wisdom in your body. just like there is certain natural wisdom in the outside world, like nature, where the trees are growing, there are seasons, and the nature goes through seasons, leaves on trees fill up with water, nutrients, Then comes the time when those leaves fall off, fall on the ground. And then the natural cycle occurs through seasons. Spring never rushes into summer. Summer doesn't rush into fall. Fall doesn't rush into winter. Nature doesn't need to think about going into the next season. It's all just happening with everything involved in it. And so has our life. Our life has seasons and chapters and phases. And yet as human beings, sometimes we tend to be attached to a certain way of being, feeling unsure about the next stage. It's usually the next stage often requires a shift in mindset in how you think, in your belief statements and attitudes. A new type of awareness of certain things in life. Inviting a new mindset 
for some of us may feel a little uneasy. Some people tend to stay attached to what they know and what they feel safe with. As we move to the next stage in our life, certain kind of qualities, attitudes, and beliefs bring us forward. As you allow yourself to sink in deeper and deeper within yourself, comfortably, gently, naturally, imagine the thoughts fading away as you allow your mind to quiet to quiet down nothing to think about nowhere to go nowhere to rush right now you can simply relax and let go drifting deeper and deeper Now slowly count, and as I do, imagine yourself at the top of the staircase as you've taken those steps down. 10, 10. imagine your feet as you take each and every step, nine, drifting deeper, relaxed, eight. Can be easy to imagine those steps, can be a little challenging, seven. And six, and five, and four, deep, relaxed, three, two, And one, deeper down, deep within yourself. Now I invite you to begin to trust the wisdom in you, the wisdom of your physical body, the wisdom of your mind, your unconscious. Everything that you are, everything you know about yourself, your ability to make decisions and decide what's best. And just imagine there is a source within you, like a well of insight. Like an internal guide. Like an inner guide. Sometimes we listen, other times we don't. Because we get so smitten by doubt or worry. At the deep, deep, deep inside of us, there is profound guidance. And through deep breath and being aware of your breath, you may get in touch with this inner guidance even more. And whatever question you now have that is open-ended and tied to your solution, to your outcome, you may go ahead and ask that question silently within yourself as if you're truly asking that inner guide within you. Just imagine and pronounce that silently and slowly now. How do I align my personal and professional life in a way that is satisfying and makes me happy? You may ask. For some of you, there may be a your unique question. How do I arrange my time and schedule in a way that allows me to accomplish my next project? 
how, what, where. And really feel the power of that question that you're asking yourself. And trust the knowledge to surface at its own due time, now or tomorrow. Maybe you'll be eating lunch or dinner or drinking water or taking a shower. And the insight, the knowledge is just coming to you. That is my answer. And usually most people say, when the insight comes, there is this sense of calm in the body and feeling of alignment and relief, even freedom that feels right. It just feels like the right thing to do. Instead of feeling stagnated or tired or just feeling discomfort or pushing yourself too hard into something or going against yourself, really truly finding comfort. So when the answer comes, when the solution arrives, it just feels right in your body. It already makes you feel happy. As you're practicing this meditation, you realize you are practicing your expansive qualities that are generally called feminine those expansive qualities that expand and push through all the blocks, fears, gateways, and barriers as you expand your energy and feel comfortable and at ease now and now. Safe and secure. Now gently move your attention back into your body. And begin to open up your eyes right here, right now. Coming back into this present moment. Feeling recharged, refreshed, as if you're taking a good nap. And Lauren, if you are willing to tell us about your experience, any thoughts, any future hopes. How do you feel? Yeah, that was wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, I did actually have a pretty big realization just now. I think that when I was asking that question, I've often felt in the past that like I need to get a new job because I can't handle this job and also have a personal life. But this just made me realize that it's not that I can't handle it. It's just that um, what's being asked of us is lately is just not possible and it, it's not that I need a new job it's that I want a new job and I deserve a new job because I deserve to be happy and I deserve to have a, a balanced personal and professional life so I think I kind of feel a lot of relief that um, you you touched on that inner wisdom mm -hmm. and I think that hit home for me because I know what I need to do and I I just need to start listening to myself and having the confidence to make this hard decision um and and stop worrying about you know everybody else's opinions and other things wow that's incredible it's, it's really is a lot of times a waste of time when we worry about other people's opinions what they think and so on and so forth and it looks like i like what you said about i don't need a new job i want a new job it's, it's yeah. a much better way of looking at it. It's like you're almost claiming it, like claiming it for yourself, you know, to, to exactly. make a declaration. 
congratulations. I'm glad for your insight. Keep me posted on uh, what's going on for you. I'd like to hear more about your progress. And um, this is it for today. We got a little shorter, but I think we've accomplished what we needed. And I want to thank you for being here today. Lauren, thank you so much for being uh, open to share what's happening for you and also uh, um, sharing your, your feedback. Thank you. That was really wonderful. I appreciate it. You're most welcome. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.